What's up, Emmanuel College? This is Perlan Cipriano as your host, and we are here with Coach Link Davis, our head coach for men's wrestling and our assistant for women's wrestling. How have you been? Great. Thanks for having us on. Um, so, Coach, where are you from? Um, I'm originally from a small town outside of uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma, Cleveland, Oklahoma. So. Uh, but you live in Georgia now? Yes, we live in Georgia. We're actually, uh, we live in Jefferson uh, area. That's a drive. <laughs> um, so how long have you been coaching? Uh, well, total, I've uh, been coaching 22 years now. Um, and just a little bit all, all over the place, both high school and junior high and now in college. And stuff. Yeah. <laughs> um, so how long have you been here at Emmanuel coaching? Uh, I've been here at Emmanuel. This is our sixth year. Uh, you know, we started the, the women's program, uh, and then the uh, last uh, couple years, I guess this is our third year that, that I've been with the men um, with them. So, yeah, it's been, been fun so far. Um, so, did you coach anywhere before Emmanuel? Um, yeah, I mean, in our my 22 years of, of coaching, uh, I coached, uh, you know, quite a few uh, places in in Oklahoma at the high school level um, and then I coached at Oklahoma City University uh, same thing wrestling with both men and the women as assistant coach and then and then came out here all right and I know that you have two new assistant wrestling coaches so mm -hmm. how have they helped the program right now yeah yeah we we have uh, we have Jeff Rimmel uh, he, he came in and uh, is helping us with uh, the men's program uh, doing a great job uh, you know being you know being a good recruiter uh, helping with the kids you know with everything that they need and then um, you know he's new this year uh, and uh, then we have a uh, Brazil Marquez uh, with the women um, and she's been here I think this will be her second year uh, and she, she's doing a great job as well you know help, helping the kids and what they're doing uh, also helping us us coach and um, you know they're, they're just they're they're good people. Yeah. Uh, they're hard workers, and, and so they they've really helped us out quite a bit. That's great. Um, I know that you know wrestling got cut out a little bit during the spring as well because of COVID, and now that all the sports have been pushed back to January, I think for right. everyone. Um, how has that impacted your preparation for the new season coming up? Well, uh, honestly, we still don't know exactly when we're when we're going to uh, start our season. Uh, but uh, we get to start practice here here pretty soon. Um, it, it's 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 been a little bit weird. Uh, you know, we have kind of have a longer preseason where we've been able to uh, work on our strength and things like that, so, and a little bit of wrestling things. Um, and, and then hopefully we'll just be able to get on the mat here soon and, and kind of go uh, things as normal as normal as uh, they can be right. with, with COVID. So. Right. Um, and what are your expectations for this season? Right. Well, uh, you know, our expectations is, is to do well. We're, you know, we want to try to go win a national championship. Uh, we want to do well in our conference, win in conference titles and, and regional titles and, and uh, you know that's that's always the goal. Uh, again, we're we're pretty young. We've got um, I, I think we have 18 to 20 freshmen uh, that came in, uh, and and we have uh, about seven or eight sophomores, um, and then then we have you know about five or six juniors and, and seniors that are, are with us uh, that will hopefully lead the team. Um, but we've got we've got experience in those guys that are coming coming on. Um, we've we've got uh, two guys that made it to semifinals and regionals, um, uh, and then I think we have six six or seven guys that are coming back um, that that placed at regionals uh, and or have experience you know wrestling on our team uh, and being a starter or yeah. you know, things like that. So. Uh, you know, we're, we're looking good. We're young and we're old. We kind of don't have uh, many people in the middle. Uh, but, but I, you know, I think we're going to do well this year. Yeah. We've got a really good group of, of kids and, and uh, they're working hard. Ho hopefully we'll, it'll show on the map. Yes, yes. Um, so what are you expecting mainly from the, young, the younger freshmen, the sophomores? What do you expect from them as, you know, as they come along and 
start their wrestling career here. Right. Yeah, and, and we're just looking for them to come in and, and one, do, do good on their grades, figuring yes. out how to how to kind of time manage those things to being a student athlete. Um, and then, um, you know, just trying to learn our system mm -hmm. uh, that might be a little bit different from what maybe they did in high school. Uh, you know, sometimes um, these, these guys get frustrated because they're, you know, they, they might have been really good in yeah. high school and then now they're wrestling at somebody that's had experience at, at the D2 level here. Um, and so they don't have quite as much success. So, you know, just trying to encourage those guys and, and, and then get them up to speed to where we're at. And, and you know, we're going to rely, we're going to have to rely on some of those guys mm -hmm. uh, to be starters and then also help push those, those older guys that are on there. So, um, you know, I, I think we got a really good group that, that's right. coming in. So yeah. it should, they're working hard, like I said, and, yeah. and uh, it, it should be interesting. Some yeah. of those guys, you know, might be pushing some of those older guys. So, uh, you know, that's what that's what we want all the time is those guys to come in, you know, anybody come in and put, push the guys that are in front of them. So. And what do you expect from your seniors? Like, they're leaving, you got, you know? Yeah. Well, they've been here, you know, pretty much the whole time that, that I've been here. Um, and, and we're really excited for those guys uh, to graduate and finish. And, and some of them, it, it's their last time. Uh, they haven't uh, qualified for the national tournament. Uh, they, you know, with us just being NCA here yeah. here recently, um, they've only had you know one or maybe two shots at trying to qualify uh, for for the national tournament. Um, and and last year, some of those guys were right there, and uh, you know, some injuries kind of put us uh, in a tough spot. Uh, kind of kept us out of nationals. Um, but but I'm seeing going to see big things. Those guys are working hard. They know it's their last opportunity, um, and and then our junior juniors are are pushing those guys, and and they're ready to, you know, they've been close, you know, to get into the nationals. You know, it's top top three at nationals, which is which is tough. Um, but but I think they can do that and take that next step and, and move on and get to nationals and then. Then it's anybody's game, you know, at, at yeah. nationals. Uh, it's just who, who's ready to wrestle that that weekend. So. Right, who wants it more? That's uh, right. <laughs> so, uh, what is one of your proudest moments as as a coach? Um, well, I, I think probably one of the one of the proudest moments um, is uh, you know we had an All American uh, the, the a couple years ago here at Emmanuel. That that was been uh, a pretty proud moment. Um, but I think probably the most, I mean, even with all, you know, us winning, even when I was at Oklahoma City and, and here and, and winning things uh, and do, doing, doing things well, um, I think probably the proudest moment is, is just the relationships that I have mm -hmm. with, with our former wrestlers and our, and our former coaches um, and, and, you know, kind of, I'm kind of going to probably date myself a little bit, but now they're starting to have kids and, and things. And, and so it's just watching them become, you know, moms and dads yeah. and families and, and knowing that we had a little part in, in kind of showing them how they, right. they could do that. Probably not the best at all the times, but, uh, but, it, but that's probably the, the proudest moment is just seeing them be good, good family members um, to, to their family and, and then just going out and contr contributing yeah. to the society and, and doing well, doing well. Right. That's, that's uh, you know, some of them, some of them won a lot of matches, some mm -hmm. of them didn't win any matches, but, but they're, you know, just being proud and, of those people being good people. Right, right. Yes. Um, lastly, what is your favorite part about wrestling? What's my favorite part of, of wrestling? Um, I think just the grind and the battle. Um, you know, it, it, when you go out on the mat, it's it's one person against another person, um, and it's and it shows who's who's going to be the best that day. It doesn't mean um, that it's necessarily for the year or, or, or what it is. Uh, and, and you know, just when you get knocked down, you might not be successful, but you get knocked down and how how you get back up. Um, and that, that's probably the, the best thing I like about wrestling is that you can, you can get knocked down and, and it's a one-on-one -on -one sport. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, you might not be the best best man that day, but you can go back out and get back up and, and just fight. And, and that's kind of a little bit of what life life is too, um, especially you know with the situation that we've been in and and uh, you know just everybody get knocked down. It's how you get up and you you carry on your business. So that's probably the the best thing that that I've had that wrestling has has taught me is is you know when you get down you know getting back up right yeah going. yes and um, what is the team's motto or Bible verse for this year um, well we're, we're still working on that um, yeah. I, we haven't really came up with any anything um, but uh, you know we always have uh, a saying uh, our mindset uh, that we do do every every day after practice um, and, and you know the kids are starting to buy into that uh, and believing in themselves, and yes. and uh, you know it's, I think it's just more of a mindset thing that, that we talk about. So. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you, Coach, for being here. Yeah. Thanks for having me, man. It's fun. <laughs>